I call this the Netscape moment. If any of you are old enough to have used Netscape, the internet was available 15, 20 years before Netscape. Netscape was just the browser where we suddenly realized, oh my God, there's this monster back there that we don't know nothing about. And everyone started to realize the value of, in the, of the internet, not because the internet was invented in the, in the late 1990s, but because we understood that it ex exists then. I can tell you that this is way more than true for artificial intelligence. We've made so much stride on artificial intelligence, but you haven't seen it until ChatGPT came out. And evidence of that is that months after ChatGPT came out, Google released BARD. They didn't develop BARD in months, they just released it in months. Why? Because we had BARD since years and years and years ahead. So where's the ball going? The moment where we are today is the Netscape moment where we suddenly realize, oh, this thing exists, it's smart. The moment where the ball is going, everyone is looking for a moment that we know as the moment of singularity. And singularity, in physics terms, is a horizon similar to a black hole, for example. At the edge of a black hole, we know everything, because until you get to the edge of a black hole, physics apply. We have no way of telling that inside the black hole, the way we understand physics applies, so we have no idea. I mean, we're making a lot of stride in physics, but we have no idea if the rules of the game change beyond that event horizon, which is known in physics as a singularity. The event horizon that we're all waiting for in uh, artificial intelligence is the release of an artificial general intelligence that is smarter than humans in everything that it does. And there is a major myth around that. If you ask experts, some will say it's 2050, some will say it's 2035. I think it's between 2025 and 2027. Don't hit me, I'm just making a prediction that you can laugh about in 2026. The reason why I believe it's going to be 2027 is because of all the surprises that happened with AI so far. The idea that we never expected it to be creative, but it did. We never expected it to learn Bengali when we, we, we built it, but it did. We never expected, we never expected, we never expected. Something happens with intelligence in the exponential nature of it, that once you reach a certain point, zoof, something happens. Does it make any difference if the moment of singularity where the smartest being on planet Earth is no longer a human? Does it make any difference if that's 2035 or 2025 or 2045? Honestly, if I told you that an alien intelligence is in a spaceship that's heading to, span to planet Earth to change everything, would you ask me and say, when are they arriving? And if I told you it was 2035, you'd go like, okay, let's go back to tennis. Would you? This is the situation we're in. I'm telling you, there is an alien intelligence already on planet Earth, already smarter than, uh, than Elon Musk, or as smart, and about to be smarter than all of us. Does it make any difference when it will arrive? The reason we are so confused about AI is because of science fiction movies. It's because whenever we think about AI, whenever the news media reports about AI, they talk to us about that existential problem where you know, a, a Robocop or something will come from the future to kill all of us. While I tell you that this is a possibility. There are more existential problems that are upon us already. They're not going to happen next year. They've already happened. You're just not discussing them. That deserve your attention much earlier. And that the dilution of the information that's given to us by the media by focusing on the big headline, the clickbait of we're all going to die, AI is going to end humanity, is taking your attention away from what matters.